Greetings in the name of the Most High, Ja Rastafari, Hola Manuel Haleai, Selassie. Blessed love and light, I am Anebana Tafari, that is Abba Ras, Anebana Tafari is my name, and I am one half of the dynamic duo that makes up Spiritual Alignment, Health and Wellness, LLC. The other half being my partner and queen and mate, Empress Shirley Stevens. And if you'd like to inquire or book any of our services, you can reach us here at counselor1753 at gmail.com. That's counselor1753 at gmail.com. Or you can reach me in my email address, A B B A period A N E B A N A period T A F A R I three seven nine seven at gmail.com. Or you can reach us at our Facebook page, Spiritual Alignment Health and Wellness LLC. We're appearing today here on Spiritual Guidance Academy channel. Blessings and love to uh, Nicole for supporting and promoting us here on her channel. I'll give thanks for that. Um, today, we're going to do a little, uh, one of our services, a short sample, I would, I would say, of one of our services called the Sound Bath. And what that consists of is music under which... There is uh, also playing binaural beats at a theta frequency in this particular case today. And just so we understand that, let's go into a little explanation on uh, brain waves and frequencies. It is well known that the brain is an electrochemical organ. Researchers have speculated that a full functioning brain can generate as much as 10 watts of electric power. Now we have these different brain wave frequencies and uh, where our brain is functioning at uh, different uh, rates and levels. At the uh, beta level, at the beta wave level, the wave ranges from uh, 15 to 40 cycles per second. Beta waves are characteristic of a strongly engaged mind. That's to say a mind that's engaged, focused on a particular activity. A person in active conversation would be in beta or a debater, a teacher doing you know, their job functions. The next brainwave category in order of frequency is alpha. And where beta represented arousal, arousal alpha represents non-arousal. Alpha brain waves are slower and higher in amplitude, and their frequency ranges from 9 to 14 cycles per second. A person who has completed a task and sits down to rest is often in an alpha state. The next state, theta brain waves. And mind you, those first two states are pretty much in what we would call the uh, wake mind. Uh, the next state, that of brain waves are typically of even greater amplitude and slower frequency. This frequency range is normally between five and eight cycles a second. A person who has taken time off from a task and begins to daydream is often in a theta brain wave state. This is also the state that your brain would uh, frequency would be at when you're also in meditation or trance, so to speak, is when the brain will function and vibrate at this particular frequency of theta or theta. Just so you get an idea, um, that would be what most people would understand or consider to be the quote-unquote zone. You enter a state of mind where focus is concentrated yet relaxed and without effort activities are done and, and meditation is done in this particular zone that is a theta state of mind brain frequency 
The final state is delta, and that's generally when we're sleeping in a dream state or less than dreaming. All right, so we got a good little idea today. The um, frequencies will be that'll be playing underneath will be theta. So that being said. You just sit back and take a moment, connect to your breathing, To be present with your inspiration and your exhalation. Relax, focus on your breathing. And as the uh, sound of music starts, do just listen and allow yourself to uh, immerse be immersed in the sound of vibration. That being said, I want you guys to enjoy your journey.
Yeah. 